Hey guys, Joe Bonamassa, and uh, today we're talking about uh, the song Hard Bargain uh, that we covered from Albert King on Blues Deluxe Volume 2, the 20th Anniversary Edition. And um, what, I'm, uh, what I'm holding is a 1967 uh, Flying V and Sparkling Burgundy. And um, I once had the pleasure to have an audience with all three of Albert's Vs, um, the Carina, uh, 1959 with the Stinger, and uh, that's the guitar you see in, at the Fillmore uh, playing Blues Power, one of the great, one of the greatest blues solos of all time, and uh, the Dan Erlewine uh, that was made in the early 70s, which I actually took on tour uh, for our, our tribute to Albert King and BB King and Freddie King, and um, the the one that they didn't, the one you don't really associate him with, uh, was the the 67 in Cherry. Well, this one is Sparkling Burgundy, and it's close enough. Um, and the, the, the rumor was that Board Under a Bad Sign and some of your favorite Albert King, uh, stuff was recorded on a 67 Flying V, not the Carina. Um, I wasn't there, so I can't prove it, but he did own one. And, um, the thing about Flying Vs of, of this, of this, uh, this, this era, um, they're a lot different than the ones they made about nine years before. And they, this was their reboot of the Flying V. They said, well, we messed up in 58 and nobody bought them. And let's try them in 67. Maybe, maybe some of these hippie kids will buy them. And, and, you know, cause rock and roll and, and some of the heavier music was was uh, starting to become in fashion and people like Billy Gibbons um, and and you know uh, Albert King and, and and were using the original Karina V's Johnny Winter had a Karina V and um, so Gibson said hey let's put them out and here we go so let's talk a little bit about Albert King um, Warren Haynes says it best um, and and I'll quote him uh, it, it's one of the great quotes uh, from from a, a great musician and friend um, he says, Albert King was the most immaculate guitar player in the blues because nobody played like him before and everybody played like him after. And I agree with that because uh, nobody, you can't really go back and say, well, he got that from T-Bone or he got that from, it just came out of the blue. And um, also probably helped that he was a drummer, Albert Nelson credited on Jimmy Reed Records. That's a little Jimmy Vivino fact. Um, that was uh, Albert Nelson King was his born name. So Albert Nelson played drums. Albert King played guitar. Same person. Little fun fact on a Saturday. So let's talk about Hard Bargain. Now, you know, Stevie Ray did Albert great, you know, those big bends. And what I find, and especially in our version of Hard Bargain with the Albert King bends, there's two ways to kind of achieve the same same thing, you know. You go. And I find using the thumb on the bass note gives you the more authentic Albert stuff. But I like using my thumb when I'm playing Albert style stuff. You know? So you can get that classic Albert King break by doing it on the, like if you're in the key of B, the 12th. Or you can do it just a few frets down. Try to grab, it's not always successful, try to grab two strings at the same time. You know, his thing was, and, and trying to copy that or, or, or play like Albert is is extremely difficult because he played up, he played left-handed, but the guitar was strung where a right-handed player could play it. So the the high strings were on on the top, on top of the guitar where the bass strings normally are. So he's pulling down, not bending up. A lot of those riffs were just invented because that's how we played it. Um, but if you're just in a situation and you're playing the blues, you know, always start a solo. I try to. Think what would Albert do? You know. I learned this from Larry 
Larry McRae. He he taught me this, you know. So you just you use the you put your uh, index finger here on the on the third string. and hours of fun on the front pickup with a flying V, uh, which are a little brighter than a Les Paul or 335, but you do need a humbucker. Um, there's hours and hours and hours of fun with a flying V trying to, trying to create the sound and the vibe and the feel of one of the greatest to ever stand on stage and play the blues. So have fun and check it out and uh, use your thumb.